Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGym007, and today we're looking at the MPC Auction plugin. Now, this is a really fantastic plugin, which, unlike the other auction plugins, doesn't spam your chat with loads of items and bids and all of that good stuff. So, with the other plugins, you will see loads of messages popping up in chat when people create auctions, when they put a bid in, when an auction ends, and that can get quite annoying for the other players who aren't in the auction. So this plugin has everything in the uh, GUI, which is in the MPC. It's very easy to use, and we're going to show you how to do that today. So if we do 4 slash MPC A, hit enter, that will show us all of the commands. There's not too many. And what we're going to want to do is come over here and do 4 slash MPC A, spawn MPC. And this will spawn one of the MPCs where we can access all of the auctions. So no matter how many you create, it will always show you the same thing, which is really awesome. Then if we do 4 slash mpca use villagers, what this is going to do is use villagers instead of um, citizens. So if you've got citizens, you could use a different skin mpc, uh, which is awesome. So you can just toggle this on and off if you want. As we've already got one, we can do 4 slash mpca remove npc and give him a little tap and he will disappear. So then we have used all of the most important commands. There's a couple more, such as the reload, uh, to, if you've changed anything in the config, and the open command if you're not near a villager. So if we go over to this guy over here, he is the auction house, he's got a nice title over his head, and if we right click, you will see all of the items that are currently for sale. So I created these, it shows you who created them, the price. So up at the top it says $10 plus 10, so every time someone bids, it will go up by $10. There's a buy it now pipe price for either 50 or 24, and you can right click to buy it now. However, the oak saplings, that doesn't have a buy it now, which is really awesome. You can choose whether you have that feature or not. And as you can see, it gives you a time until it finishes. So I've put random times in these just to show you how this plugin works. So let's go ahead and choose an item. We are going to grab the enchanted book. And if we go back into the auction house and go up to the green icon, this will allow us to create the auction. So pop it in there and it will ask us what the starting bid is. So one, two, three. And then how much do we want the bid to increase every single time? Let's put $5. How long should the auction last using H, M and S for hours, minutes and seconds? Let's go for 30 S, 30 seconds. And do we want a buy it now price? So either type no or the buy it now. So 200 or no. Let's go for 200 and it's as easy as that to add an item and there it pops in and as you can see it has all of the information the price the buy it now price and how long remaining so you can also cancel auctions using the red button and it just shows you all of your auctions which you've created and there we go so nobody bid on it because no one's else on the server and uh, we have got it back in our inventory which is really awesome so you don't lose it or anything so let's go ahead and create another one really quickly. Uh, we're going to use a golden pickaxe, pop it in, hit the green button, and then we can set the price as $5, the increment as $1, it's going to last for 10 seconds, and do we want a buy now price? No. So there we go. It counts down in 0.5 seconds, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and nobody bought it. So the stone also finished at the same time as this, um, which I set quite a while ago actually, and so did the planks as well. So that is how the plugin works, it's really awesome. And as you can see, it's very easy to use. You can also use the mpca respawn command if you have problems with villagers that disappear, uh, but that hasn't happened to me. And I think that's pretty much everything in game. Let's go ahead and look at the config file. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel, and as you can see, we are in the MPC auctions folder, and there are two files. So this is going to be pretty straightforward. If we go into the messages.yml and have a look in here, if it's going to load, my internet's been really bad lately. Uh, so you can see all of the different messages that will pop up in chat. So we have uh, various things, cancelling an item, uh, initially starting, etc. Down here we have the prefix, which you can change. Uh, you can see it uses color code, so this is a nice cyan. F is white, I think. And um, you can change this um, to your liking. So if we go back, we can go into the config.yml. There's not too much in here, uh, but there's a few tweaks you can make. So uh, up at the top we have the auction refresh rate, 
as you can see it went down 0.5 seconds every time but you can change that uh, NPC skin username so we could set it to ourselves I used to use the Donald Duck um, skin which is pretty awesome we could have that and whether we want to use a villager so we use the command in game but you can also set it in here and then we have all of the items that appear in the GUI so the green wall the red wall etc blacklisted world so you could add I don't know creative here if you didn't want that um, you probably don't want people going into creative mode and selling items um, that would be pretty bad uh, so you can just stick creative there and um, let me see the blacklist so bedrock you obviously don't want people selling bedrock because if you put it down you're not going to be able to destroy it auto update so that's pretty cool and enable view last bidder uh, false as well so down here we have all of the different auctions and the information so it stores everything the type the buy now price the price the um, time left in ticks so yeah that is pretty much everything in the config files if you want to download it there'll be a link in the description if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around but that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time Thank you.